I know, just a championship brought on, I'm just saying. No, um, you know, it's, it's exciting to see how everyone has embraced embraced us. And, you know, we're happy about coming back winners this year and, and having something exciting to talk about. You've got one special person that came back who's 41 years old and stressed um. that she was 41 years old several <laughs> times. What was it like having Taj come back? You know what? Don't listen to Taj when she talk about age because Taj is probably one of the one of the youngest players when it comes to you know taking care of body and you know being uh, cautious about what she needs to do as a player to be effective on the court. So don't listen to her about age. But we're excited to have her back. You know that experience that she brings, the emotion, the tenacity, and the intensity is 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 what helped us get to a, you know a, a championship last year. Maya alluded to earlier that uh, the trophy's kind of heavy to pick up. Good problem to have. I'm sure you'd like to have that problem this season as well. Yeah, we got to balance it out. Like, we only got one, you know, arm weight. We need another one so we can kind of balance it out. Um, everybody's been talking about a repeat since we won last year. Twitter fans, Facebook fans, Minnesota fans, everywhere we go, it's, it's a repeat. And right now, we just want to focus on building our team and the chemistry and just having fun like we did last year. Now, Cheryl said that last year was last year. This is a new season. It is. How hard is it going to be to forget about the championship from last year? Um, as you're focusing on this season. I think everybody forgot about last year um, as far as, like, being so excited about it at 11.59 on December 31st of 2011. Once, you know, January 1st hit, we were all focused. We kind of talked to each other about what we needed to do. We know that it's going to be a lot harder with teams making moves. L.A. made great great moves this offseason. Chicago made great moves. Um, and this year, we start out with the bullseye on our back. We're defending champions, and everyone wants a piece of us. So we understand it's going to be a lot harder. You guys kind of had a bullseye on your back last year, too, adding my But do you think just because of last year that it kind of puts you guys in a good position to know know that everyone's given their best effort against you? Uh, I think we, we had a bulls on our back last year, but not as big as this one. Because everybody, everybody's goal is to shoot for that prize, which is a championship, and that's what we earned last year. Um, Seattle had that big bullseye on their back last year, so um, I, I think this is going to help us focus a little bit more on what we need to, need to do. Um, even in preseason games that's coming up, we're, we're going to be ready to go in those games as well. You talked a lot about the chemistry and how strong that's been. Was there a point where that really started to change for the better? season or the beginning of last season? Or I say training camp just to have everybody here um, for the first day and everybody was healthy. No one really missed any uh, practices or preseason games. Um, that kind of helped us with our you know, camaraderie and getting the team together and that chemistry. And just knowing these players, I've played with Waylon before, played with Bronson, so that just um, you know adds to it uh, to be able to come in. And Maya did a great job of coming in and being exceptional as, as usual, just being a great person and a great player. Yeah, Taj is like the yeah mother of the team. Of course, Taj was one that you know. Let's have a barbecue. Let's get everybody together. Let's have movie night. So that actually helps you know a lot too to be able to not only have great chemistry on the, on the court but off the court when we're hanging together. We can't stand not being around each other. Like let's go to the mall and shop. That helps as well. It just kind of made everything you know balanced. Well, Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it was good. I think a lot of people, um, you know, follow my career and they knew the struggles that I went through here in Minnesota. So a lot of people were just genuinely happy. Like, you finally got over that hill and, you know, we're proud of you uh, more than anything for continuing to fight and, you know, pressing on and, you know, helping your team get that championship. And how did that experience maybe help strengthen your character? What you did in 2010 to winning a title last year? You know, it, it gave me a stronger mindset. Um, you know, people say put your mind to whatever it is that you want to do and you achieve it. I really believe it now. Um, you know, going through the ACL and the fibroids and everything, I was at my weakest point, but I fought through to get to this point, and the team came together well, and, you know, it just makes me feel that much more. I appreciate this championship that much more. Have you heard this? can this team be? 
This team can always get better. Um, we weren't the top offensive team last year. We were second, you know, in, in offensive production. Um, and defensively, I think we were the top team in defense, and we want to continue to build on that. Um, but our bench, we, we talk about our bench a lot. We want to be able to um, play those bench players and play them a lot of minutes to, um, you know, try to give the starters a little bit of rest. And not just that, to give them some experience on the court because we're going to need them at tough times in the game, depending on situations. And congratulations for... You know, more of the same. Maya's focused. She's a very determined person. Um, she, I mean, she understands that the pressure is on her. It's always going to be on her because of the caliber of player that she is. But I think she handles it so well that I don't really need to, you know, sit down and have coffee with her to try to go over a game plan on how to handle this. She's, she's already, you know, ready to, to deal with it. And you're going to have that Olympic break coming up. How does that work with team chemistry with having that month off with the rest of the team here and you and a couple of teammates overseas? Um, I think Coach Reeves will do an excellent job with the team um, that's here. And me, Maya, and Waylon um, will do an awesome job of representing our country first. And, um, you know, the, the team chemistry, we're figuring we're going to play a lot of minutes together with the USA team, and that'll just help us, you know, be able to bring that back to the Lynx. Pretty nice to have Lynx teammates going with you, isn't it? Of course. It's always a pleasure <laughs> to be able to have teammates to go with. It's a joy. Now I, I have someone to hang out with, someone to talk to, uh, someone to, you know, go through the ups and downs with, uh, you know, our, our journey to a gold medal. How much fun took the first time? expected to feel a little different this time in London. Expected to feel a little different. Yeah, but how much fun was it? You know, winning a oh, gold it was. Medal? I mean, it was. Time, it's know? always fun to, to, to be able to be in a position to win a gold medal. Um, I, I'm figuring it's going to be the same amount of fun, you know. But most important is it's just going to be a lot of intensity. We got a great coach with Coach Gino Oriama, and I mean, if everyone knows Gino, he's not taking any any BS. So we we have to be on our game plan. <laughs> Simone, like, couldn't play here on this side. How much different of an experience is it being in the Olympics compared to playing? It's, I mean, it's the top of the top. For every athlete, uh, you want to play in the Olympics. You want to win that gold medal. You want to represent your country. And it's definitely um, something that, that you cherish. Like, this is probably one of the biggest deals. Like, I, I love my WNBA champion. We're trade for the world. But to win a gold medal is just like the icing on the cake, the cherry on the top.